Would you agree to fight Conor McGregor if he challenged you to a boxing match? Yeah. Which player should be given the England captaincy? Harry Kane. Which of your teammates was most afraid of Fergie? Well, Darren Fletcher was like his son, so he wasn't. <laughs> he, used to go down, he used to go around for Sunday roasts. Oh. Um, Gary Neville was like his teacher's pet a little bit. Scolzi <laughs> never, ever said anything about... Or he, Scolzi gets sent off and he said, well played. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Giggsy used to get a bit of grief every now and again because he was the most experienced one, and if he shouted at Giggsy, it meant he was being, like, he was an uh, example to everyone else. You weren't scared of the gaffer because you had a really good way about him, but it's then when it comes to that switch of the passion and desire to be successful within a changing room where he turns the head on you and goes right and he goes for you. That's when the fear does come into some people. And um, Cristiano maybe is probably the one when I saw react the worst to it. Um, he wasn't very happy with it. He was very, he was broken. In Benfica, it was. He tried to take on everyone, and the gaffer was saying, "You ain't a one-man team. This is about the team." He was very young, and Ronnie was like that, and we was laughing, obviously. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, Who's the best defender in the Premier League? The best defender in the Premier League for me would be Danny Rose. If you could play one more season for any team in the world, which one would it right be? Right now. Right now. Paris Saint-Germain. Because yeah, Neymar and Mbappe, Cavani, that front three, I'll just sit back and just commentate at the back. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. And also you get to be in Paris. Exactly, what I nice. see. Um, which of the matches you played in do you still think about the most? <sighs> that one you just showed there with Messi. Rome and Wembley. And the, probably the, the FA Cup final against Arsenal. We lost, we, should, we battered them. And the FA Cup final against Chelsea. And the semi-final against Everton. Well... <laughs> That's what happened most of the game that I'm chasing him, look. <laughs> um, this is possibly one of the most embarrassing nights of my life. And the, the one at Wembley. This is in Rome, where we got beat in the Champions League final. But the thing about him is that he doesn't even, doesn't even come near you. So you actually... Me and Vidic stood on the halfway line once at Wembley and looked at each other and just went... <laughs> and we were losing, like... And we were standing there thinking, I've not even touched anyone. I've not even got anywhere. If you're a defender in a game, you want to get near people, or at least get the ball. We didn't have the ball, and I didn't get to put my hands on no-one to, to rough up or anything like that. And the problem is, is, when you did get close to him, he was that small and quick, he was going underneath. <laughs> so, I was like, I was trying... Normally, normally you go out and you hit someone in yeah. the chest, and he was just going underneath it, and I was thinking, this guy, <laughs> he's a magician. He's the best player I played against. He was just devastating, and I feel it, we all kind of felt if we played against that Barcelona team without Messi, we probably would have won. And it's had mixed response. Some people very supportive. Yeah. Um, some not so supportive. So Tony Bellew, um, cruiserweight world champion, said this. He's making a mockery of our sport. This sport is not a game. It's a serious sport and can be very dangerous. This is attention-seeking of the highest order. Mm. Some attention-seeking to go through this pain, isn't it? If you're gonna, if you're gonna, you know what I mean? You've got to be a lunatic to do it like that. I would never go into this disrespecting it and thinking it's going to be easy. I'm taking this seriously. I've got a coach. I went on holiday the other day with my kids. That's how important it is to me and that's how serious I'm taking it. This isn't no just fly-by thing where it's just about press and PR. I can get that a million other ways. This is something that I'm, I'm into, I'm serious about, and I want to I wanna, I wanna win. And Tony Bellew might not be a fan, but you've got bigger guys than him on your side. Anthony Joshua is a friend of yours. Yeah. Um, has he offered you any advice? He was like, yeah, if you want to come down and train with me, come into the, the Sheffield and where I train before fights, in my camp, join in, I'll show you a few bits and pieces, my trainer will do the same. So that's, that's great. The more help you can get, the, the better. And what do you think you've got as an advantage? I mean, as well as your mental approach and the fact that you are so committed to it? Because, mm. I mean, you're tall and you did have quite a good reach, I think. Yeah, reach is definitely something yeah. with one of the natural things that I'll have an advantage on most people, but... I'm a novice. Everyone else I'm going to be going up against are going to be seasoned people who have lived and breathed boxing all their life. So I'll be going at the disadvantage no matter what. And I'm sure they'll tailor a fitness package just for you. Mm. Whether they'll model it on Anthony Joshua's, I don't know, because his looks brutal. Oh, no, it's, it's crazy. I mean, I'll see some of the exercises... And that, I mean, that cannot be good for your teeth. No, I'll, I'll, <laughs> it might be all right for your neck. But... No, it's crazy, but it is, it is a, a different set of fitness rules 
is, 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 is got its own... But the thing is, if, if Ant, we, this is what we speak about. When I'm with Anthony all the time, look what is going on there, look. Wait, what is, no, seriously, what is no, going no, on there? If Richie starts bringing that one out, I'm going to have to go back do you, Can you no. do a side plank, though? Yeah, I can do that, but not with that, that medicine ball. But you can do the side plank, can you? There's lots yeah. of room. Yeah, that's... The, come on, Claire. Come on. <laughs> 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 you don't need to do it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Easy. Oh, it doesn't sound too good, does it? <laughs> no, that's <laughs> good. So he was doing like that, yeah. and the ball was coming on here. Oh, yeah. Medicine ball. Have we got medicine ball? Oh, we have! <laughs> Are we? My face, it might be the other one. Yeah, that's face, it. <laughs> right. So you feel OK there, yeah? Yep. And then what? Am I just tapping you with this? I don't know. I don't know. You watched the video. <laughs> Is it like that? Jesus. Does it hurt? Oh, it's killing me. <laughs> Is it actually... What am I achieving here for I you? don't actually know. I've not done this one before. <laughs> <laughs> punch resistance, I think. Punch yeah. resistance. But listen, when you win your first title, your It'll world be down title, to this. Yeah, it will. <laughs> I'd like some credit. <laughs>